digest who I am, how I got here, and where I'm going. So I'm Gavin Weiss, and this is basically me. I'm right here. Um, the overall arching theme for this is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Um, this verse basically comforts you in the unknown, and it says that God has a plan for you. And I am going through a time of change. There's uncertainty, and with my situation right now, there's also uncertainty, but I'll get to that later. Um, and like, it kind of shows that God always will have a plan for us, despite our circumstances. And if we don't recognize that, it's really, um, you question your purpose a lot, because like, if God doesn't have a plan, then what am I doing? Um, so, first one, who I am, well, I'm Gavin Weiss, I was born and raised in the Gallatin Valley, my parents are Stephen Weiss and Tina Dykstra, my dad lives in South Carolina, um, kind of the absent father stereotype, um, but more recently, he's actually been reaching out to me like the past two weeks. But I don't know if that's just a spur of the moment thing, or if he's getting, you know, um, real emotional about one of his kids growing up. Basically, um, we really haven't had a relationship. Um, a few times we'd go over to South Carolina, we were just kind of like strangers that knew each other in a way. It, it's a weird relationship. And then my mom, she is basically my rock. She's an amazing person. Um, she is an accountant um, and just an overall good person. I feel like if everybody was my mom, it'd be a great world. Um, and then Jared, he's my sibling. He's incredibly smart and always reliable. He. Um, you know, he kind of bullies me sometimes, but <laughs> no. I also bully him back, too. Um, it's a good, tough love relationship, but we also, like, bond over a lot of stuff. And then, um, I've attended MCS since kindergarten. Um, I think it was a good investment by my mom to put me in a Christian school. They really um, made a good foundation for me to build off of. And I feel like if I went to like a public mo school, I might have been worse off. But, um, and I probably wouldn't be able to play sports there. Probably wouldn't be able to get the friends I have. And I've really grown to love this small Dutch community. Um, yeah, it's just great. And then my faith, born and raised in a Christian family. Never really been outside of like um, a Christian area. So it'll be interesting to see in college how I do. I, but I have confidence that I'll maintain my strong relationship with God. Um, God has always been a part of my life. He's thrown a lot of challenges at me, physically and mentally and all that. But I feel like he does that to make us better sometimes. I kind of like a coach, not just making an endless suicide to get you in better shape. Um, yeah. So kind of like how I got here a little bit. Um, first little taste of me like going through a rite of passage was DI. Um, uh, we got third in the world. We could have got second if a person knew how to work a stopwatch, but that's a later story that I'm still. <laughs> hand around a uh, artifact. Um, basically, it, it, it's kind of, oh. I, I looked for the actual trophy from, because we, we actually got a trophy, like a state trophy, but um, I couldn't find it. It's probably somewhere in the dust. Um, and it really taught me to work as a team and um, all the parts make a whole. And a little bit more of how I got here. I really talked about my mom in this one and my family because I truly believe um, they shape a good portion of you. Um, and uh, another thing I'd like to talk about is all of my basketball coaches. 
not Coach Gloss, Belich, uh, Mahoney, Hank. Just all of them, really. Coach Dykstra House, Coach Hill. They all teach me different things. Uh, Coach Gloss, he taught us all about humility. Um, that was like the theme of the year. I got a little tired of it. We often talk a little more than I liked during the basketball season. I just kind of wanted to get out on the court a little bit more. But, um, his famous quote that he loved to say was, true humility is not thinking less up of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less. There's a difference there, it's a play on words, it's kind of cool. Um, Brian Rafato, kind of like the uh, sub coach this year, he coached C. He, um, I struggled with my confidence on the court a little bit, and he was kind of like my hype man. He was always like, G money, you know, and he, he was always hyping us up. Um, and then Coach Hank, a great man. I love a lot about him. And he's just a really strong figure. Um, and then Coach Mahoney, he just taught us how to have fun with basketball. He went in <laughs> every night, just like things. And then my grandpa, he's not up here, but he's right there. Um, he taught me how to drive. I don't want to say he was my father, but closest thing I really had. Um, we did a lot of stuff together. We built fences, we goofed around, we, he got me hurt sometimes, <laughs> smashed a nail. Uh, yeah, that was just funny. Um, and he's also a great, strong Christian man that I look up to. Um, yeah, it, he's pretty cool. And then also my, um, my dogs, team, every single basketball team shapes you in a different way. Um, and this year is really, you know, we were all kind of a little inexperienced, but we all just grouped together and through that we had experience and we ultimately sort of got the job done. We got third, but should have been second or first. We're way better than twin digits. Um, and then so where I'm going going to college to be a chemical engineer or something around engineering. I really had a lot of fun with robotics this year. Um, I like to problem solve pretty much, and so any class where I problem solve is gonna be fun for me. Um, that all kind of originated from like, um, I'd say like second grade. I couldn't really read well because my vision was bad at the time. I needed glasses. So I didn't like to read, and so I liked to read actual numbers that were bigger than small letters, and that kind of spurred me on. Um, and I really truly believe that God speaks in many ways, but math and science both work together very well, and it's very cool to see how God ties in science and math together. And that's kind of where I like chemistry, I like physics, and I like calculus. That's kind of what I want to do. I feel like being like any sort of engineer would be cool, not specifically a chemical. I'll have to make up my mind if I want to be a chemical, electrical, mechanical, biochemical. There's just a bunch of them. Um, and I've always loved to help out people. My kindergarten uh, teacher, she called me a friend to all. Um, and so kind of like my senior project, it was to work at the Fork and Spoon and, and, and organize a food drive. I'd consider it a success. Um, yeah, it was good. And then, um, yeah. I, so I'll get a little bit to about my situation right now and try not to cry. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, my health is kind of going downhill. I got diagnosed with arthritis. Um, it's tough. It's really tough. Um, it affects my everyday life. Um, oh. Um, 
Yeah, it's really hard. Um, but uh, God has thrown many physical things at me, and I've all overcame them, and I'm more than confident I'll overcome arthritis. Um, kind of like an example of that is my sophomore year, I, I broke my ankle, and I got a really bad concussion. Um, and it just seemed like my concussion would never get better, but I just pushed through it, um, finished countless amounts of schoolwork, and it was tough, but I got through it, and then I pushed through it. Um, that's a little bit about me right now. Oh. But I truly believe that whatever we go through, we always get better in our numbers because if we got worse, then well, that's just plain out bad. That sucks. <laughs> um, so this is basically who I am, how I got here, and where I'm going. Um, my life is full of uncertainty, but we all get through it, and I'm more than confident I'll come out on the other side better off. Um, that's basically it. Um, sorry about the emotions. I hold everything in, and then when I start to talk about it, it all comes out. That's a deal. Um, yeah, and I just like to thank Van Der Ark for we really didn't have like the greatest thing, but I've always looked up to you, and I think you're an amazing person. So yeah, that's basically it.